Hey guys, Jake Crawls is going to do a video kind of showing you uh, what units you should buy out of your barracks. Uh, what kind of units should you have in your army? What what kind of units uh, should you spend nanos on? Which ones should you avoid? Um, you know, when you start off, you're pretty much going to use uh, like the mortar, the grenader, and the troopers. Uh, so you're going to want to build those. You have to build some hunters and some gunners. They make you build those things. So build what the missions tell you to build. Find out what works at your rank and uh, and start uh, ranking those up because they'll help you out uh, as you battle. And as you level up, you also get you get new units. Um, I wouldn't waste any money on this uh, the dragoon guy, uh, the junior officer. Uh, is a pretty good unit at low ranks. Uh, it does cost uh, six of the ribbons, uh, but it's worth having uh, maybe one or two of those. You definitely want to get some wimps and just start throwing them in every battle. Uh, put them, put them on the line no matter what. Just, just have them in the battle so they can be gaining XP because they're no good uh, at lower ranks. They, I mean, they're terrible at low ranks. Um, but w when you get to a point where you're trying to rank them up uh, to get them to six. Uh, once they become six, uh, you're able to tackle just about anything, uh, anything that levels uh, throw at you. Um, the heavy gunner, I wouldn't spend any nanopods uh, on the heavy gunner. Uh, it's it's a neat little unit to have, but its damage really doesn't do much and it doesn't increase much. So it's kind of one of those units you're not going to use uh, very long into the game. Um, the flame trooper is very uh, is another one of those units that is okay at a low lower rank uh but i wouldn't get them i mean just it, it to me it's just not worth it they're just little cheap units they try to get you to to start off with um but <clears throat> in the end you say you want to get two of the flame troopers uh well i would just say uh wait until you rank up enough to get the uh, salamanders uh because i would rather you get uh some salamanders because you can use those uh, throughout most of the game um, when you get to rank 60 65 they're not as they're not as powerful um, but they still come in handy uh, doing during certain things so uh, I would recommend those uh, I wouldn't recommend uh, getting the ninjas unless you're just into those type of things they're, they're kind of a unit uh, if you like want to have one type of sniper or a ninja or something like that uh, I think I'd rather have a ninja than I would than to have a sniper, uh, just because with the ninja uh, you can do the single shot anywhere on the board, like uh, like the sniper. But then it has other other shot capabilities, uh, like the throwing stars, which hit three spaces, uh, the the um, electrical strike, which uh, is good at damaging uh, vehicles. And uh, it just gives you a couple more options uh, that you're not going to get with a with a sniper unit. So, if you just want one of those units for the back row, you kind of like having a sniper guy on the back row, uh, and you don't, but you don't want like the marksman, uh, then then def then get the ninja instead. But uh, I'd rather see you save your money and spend it on something something better. I uh, wouldn't buy any of the game hunters, uh, the game hunter and the and the peacemonger are helpful during the missions uh, there's a couple of missions where those guys are, are helpful um, but beyond that they're not they're not very useful in the game uh, the lightning dragoons are pretty decent once you have several of them and, and they're ranked up um, the uh, veteran that's now that's one of the first uh, nano units I'm going to recommend highly you having get those guys and rank them up they can hit planes um, with this uh, anti-tank grenade shot right here, which is, does pretty good damage. It has high dodge rate and everything, so get a vet, rank it up as uh, quickly as possible. Um, the gorilla is just a fun unit. Uh, it, if you don't have the nanos to spend, then I wouldn't recommend getting it. I mean, it does good damage against uh, mega tanks and uh, against tanks and vehicle units, and it has a pretty, per pretty powerful shot. Um, but not a lot of health here. Only 310 health when it's uh, rank six. Uh, so I, uh, I, I would say it's just more like a fun unit. But I wouldn't. I would pass it up. Elemental trooper. I, the element trooper. I would get a bunch of these guys. Um, you know because 
they're so versatile you can use them um, you can use them everywhere and it's good to have backups especially in ball strikes when they die um, they do pretty decent damage and then the freeze option uh, is the best because it offers uh, a lot more <clears throat> uh, a lot more damage on the units when they're frozen uh, the railgun sniper as far as snipers go I would get this before I would get it just the regular sniper uh, just because it has the ability to shoot two and it also hits planes with this shot uh, and it does pretty decent damage it has the same piercing type damage as a sniper does um, does 100% armor piercing uh, which is nice um, so if you're if you're into the snipers you can either get the railgun sniper the ninja or our sniper if you just want to have one of those guys on the back row uh, but really the only two units that I recommend you s anyone spending nanopods on is the elemental trooper and the veterans uh, because those are going to have long-standing uh, uh, uses in your in your army uh, so as far as the barracks that's what I would recommend uh, I'll do another video later uh, kind of going over the things that I recommend um, you getting in your vehicle factory alright guys hope you enjoyed this video leave a comment on uh, the units that you liked and uh, if you agreed with me or if you don't agree with me whatever throw the comments out there uh, thanks for uh, thanks for watching